The border ABC 7 has complete team coverage of several stories that are developing relating to migrants. ABC 7's Brianna Perez was at a news conference held by El Paso's district attorney. He's facing a lawsuit because his office will be responsible for enforcing a new state law that gives law enforcement the power to arrest migrants who cross the border illegally. And ABC 7's Tony Gutierrez is reporting about misinformation that migrants are hearing in Mexico. We also have ABC 7's Eriberto Perez with new details about the impact after CBP announced the suspension of border rail operations because officers are helping process migrants. Let's start with the lawsuit against the district attorney. El Paso County commissioners unanimously voted to join the American Civil Liberties Union of Texas and the Texas Civil Rights Project in filing a lawsuit against Texas Department of Safety Director and El Paso's DA. The bill SB4 was signed into law by Governor Greg Abbott yesterday. It makes it illegal, or rather, it makes illegal entry into Texas from Mexico a state crime. ABC 7's Brianna Perez joins us live with what the DA said during the news conference about an hour ago. Brianna. Paul District Attorney Bill Hicks says he didn't expect a lawsuit as his birthday present today. He says the lawsuit wasn't a surprise itself, but rather seeing his name on it. Uh, in my mind, that is more of a political um, circus or more of a political um, resolution. Uh, my concerns are with seeking justice for the people of our community, and that is where my, my concerns continue to be. D.A. Hicks said he is one of two named defendants in the SB4 lawsuit. He says he anticipated there being an injunction that would prevent prosecution of those cases under the new law. Still, he says he expects this case may go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. The D.A. says if the new law is in force in March, then the D.A.'s office would address those on a case-by-case -case basis and prioritize the cases that are the most important to the community, like murder and sexual assault, just to name a few. He says the lawsuit will not deter or distract his office from continuing their pursuit of justice in the courts of El Paso County, Hudspeth and Culverson counties. But coming up on ABC 7 at 6, we take a closer look into that lawsuit and more on what District Attorney Bill Hicks had to say about it. But for now, reporting in downtown El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7. Thank you for that update, Brianna. Download the KVI News app to get an alert on your phone when we live stream important news conferences and grab your phone and scan the QR code to get our app. On the app, we live stream the DA talking about this particular lawsuit. It was also on KVIA.com. The app is free on the App Store and on Google Play.